For number 46, I'm going to continue to use the G of X and the F of T from the directions. So for number 46, we're supposed to evaluate G of 0 minus G of negative 3 all over F of negative 1. So to evaluate, I'm going to plug in 0 into G of X. So it was X squared, so now it's 0 squared plus 2X, so now it's 2 times 0 minus 7. And then I have to subtract, and I'm going to put the second part all in parentheses or in brackets here. So I need g of negative 3, so that would be negative 3 squared plus 2 times negative 3 minus 7. And I'm keeping that all in brackets because I have to subtract the whole quantity. And this is all over f of negative 1, so 4 minus negative 1 squared. Now in Number 44, we evaluated f of negative 1, and we evaluated g of negative 3. So if you wanted to, the numerator for number 44 right here, this is g of negative 3, and negative 3 is f of negative 1. So what I could do is go back over to 46 and work on g of 0 because I don't have that part yet. So g of 0 is 0 squared, which is 0, plus 2 times 0, which is 0, minus 7, minus g of negative 3, which we already evaluated to be negative 4, all over f of negative 1, which we already evaluated to be negative 3. So now I just have to be careful of my negatives. Negative 7 minus negative 4 is the same thing as negative 7 plus 4, which is negative 3 over negative 3, anything over itself is 1. So over number 46, your answer is 1.